guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. If I'm smiling a lot, it's because I'm on spring break and you can see behind me, I have a motorcycle rental. Most people, they go somewhere warm, they go to the pool, they go to the beach. Not this guy, I rented a Harley. We're gonna talk about that and I'm gonna show you some incredible footage in this video. So stay with us guys. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day. All right, if you're stuck up in the north and uh, you got deep snow and your bike is put away for the year, I'll try to bring you a little uh, little diversion here. Um, I'm on spring break, like I said, and I rented a Harley Davidson from Eagle Rider. And uh, so in this video, you know, we're gonna we're gonna show some incredible footage of me on the road, and I will overlay some chit chat about Eagle Rider and my experience, how to do it. So if you've never done it, um, you might want to hear that. If you just want to, you know, see Arizona, I am basically north of Scottsdale on Highway 87, and I'll I'll kind of put that loop that I'm doing today uh, up on the screen here, and uh, I'll stop from time to time and chit chat about it. But uh, the first part of the video will be, you know, my experience with Eagle Rider and what you can expect, and the second part will be just my um, my two cents on riding in this area. So far, uh, my mind is melted it's amazing it's as good as anything i've ever been on and maybe that's just because i haven't ridden in about five months but all right let's get after it all right feels so good to get back on a motorcycle i've been cooped up all winter um, we're here in arizona as you can see and um, for the first part of this ride i want to talk a little bit about eagle rider and the rental experience that i have had with them um, just give you kind of an overview of what to expect and then how things went for me so what is Eagle Rider? Well, they are a, they're a nationwide motorcycle rental company. They're primarily um, located in Harley-Davidson dealerships across the U.S., but not always. Um, for example, here in the Phoenix area, there are three Eagle Rider locations that pop up, and two of them are Harley dealers. One is Sedona, one is in Scottsdale. And then there's a third one that is not a Harley dealer that actually rents... Um, other motorcycles, so other brands, um, some ADV bikes, you know, off-roading is a big deal here in Arizona. So, um, you know, it kind of runs the gamut across the country. So, you know, their website's really good. If you, you start out on their website, you know, you'll get a map that pops up and all the little Eagle Rider location um, logos kind of pop up on a United States map. You can zoom in and select the location of where you're going to be vacationing and where you might want to ride. So that part is really good. Um, once you click into that uh, location, then their list of bikes uh, kind of pop up. Once you populate the dates that you're going to be uh, wanting to rent, if it's one day or two days, um, all the bikes that are available will pop up. And then you can kind of start your reservation. Um, generally speaking, you know, it costs about $200 to $250 a day to rent a, um, a Harley Davidson. Um, it, and it, it does vary depending on where you are and what bike you're renting. But, you know, that's kind of a rule of thumb. I think the Road Glide that I rented was about $225. Um, there's some tax and other fees and whatnot. Um, be aware that you can, you know, you can also rent accessories. So, you know, if you're not going to bring your helmet or you're not going to bring your jacket, you can rent all that stuff. And so, you know, that $200 tends to go up from there. They have insurance options. Um, they have one, I'm just going to call it kind of a hidden charge. Well, I wouldn't call it hidden charge, but it's, it's a, if you are adamant that you have to have a road glide, um, you need to make sure that you um, pay for that. <laughs> so they have a guarantee. So it adds like a hundred dollars to your rental that they'll make sure that that bike is there for you. Otherwise, what can happen, and let's say I pick a road glide um, and maybe they don't have a road glide in the day that I'm coming in, they're going to give me something equal to that. So maybe I'll get a road king or I'd get a street glide or you, I think you get the idea. So if, if you absolutely have to have a road glide, then you got to pay the extra hundred dollars. So your rental is going to go from 200 to 300 dollars. So just be aware of that. Um, so how has it gone for me? I've rented two different times from Eagle Rider. The first time I rented um, was quite a few years back. It was in Florida. 
um, and it was near Daytona. So this could have been the problem, but I did not have a great experience with, at that time. The bike itself was pretty beat up. It needed some service work. It didn't leave me stranded, but um, you know, it's not, it wasn't all that smooth a motorcycle. And um, I had to wait so long to get that bike. And I think it was just cause they were super busy um, because it was bike week at that time in Daytona. And um, so it was kind of a fail on my part, but um, not the greatest experience. I, um, I ended up obviously doing it again here because um, you get cooped up in the winter and you really want to have a, a place to ride. So uh, the second time here, I did it at the Sedona, or not Sedona, the, uh, the dealership here in Scottsdale and just a fantastic experience. Really nice bike, basically brand new. It had less than 4,000 miles on it. Um, you know, the process was super simple. They got me on the bike within minutes. Um, I think it, it varies across the country when you do this and what dealer you do it from. So, you know, I don't want to, you know, give Eagle Rider a black eye. I think it, it really is dependent on the, on the dealership. And maybe the process has just gotten a lot better um, the second time around. But um, I'd be very curious from you guys if you could make a comment how things have gone for you if you've rented from Eagle Rider it certainly can help out somebody who hasn't done it, who is thinking about doing it. Um, I, I, I recommend it. Um, I, it's just a great way to, you know, spend some time in an area where you've never ridden um, and learn some new roads and, um, you know, for a couple hundred bucks, you're in and out. It's great. Um, some other things about Eagle Rider, they do have memberships. So, you know, if you, Maybe you don't want to own a motorcycle anymore, or you never want to own a motorcycle, but you want to ride. You can be a member and, um, you know, significant savings then when you you get the itch to ride and you got some some time, part of that membership, then you can just take advantage of the bikes that they have. So there's some perks that go along with it. Not going to go into that here. But, um, yeah, that's Eagle Rider. Um, I do recommend them, and they've made this experience a great one for me. All right, we are uh, taking a little break here, so made it to Payson. Um, just some thoughts on Highway 87. You know, Highway 87A is the one that gets all the love. Goes up through Sedona and Flagstaff and Prescott. That's under a bunch of snow and flooding right now, so I can't do that road. So I'm actually going to take um, Highway 188 down to Superior and then back up to Scottsdale. So that's the rest of my ride. Um, 87, it was really nice actually down by Fort McDowell. And uh, the higher you get, it just kind of turns more into highway. Show some of the video, or you saw the video there. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna change outfits here because I'm pretty cold, we're at about 5,000 feet. And um, I'm not sure what the temperature is. It's probably 55 or so, maybe 50. It's cold. So I'm gonna put my jacket on and uh, let's get back on the road. Stop, take a little break and to rest my buns. You know, one of the only bad things about renting a motorcycle is you gotta put up with this right here. Stock seat. I'm not a fan. If you've uh, if you've never had a uh, aftermarket seat, I highly recommend it. I actually made a video on my Saddleman. Um, I'll post that here, but uh, yeah, I really miss my saddle and I have a backrest and heated and so anyway, it's better than sitting in the snow up north. So anyway, I wanted to show you where I was. So I came down from Payson, I took uh, 188, went back past Jake's Corner and I am uh, over my shoulder. This is Roosevelt Lake. 
And um, just some trivia here. So a local pulled in here to, the road's closed as you can see. She she pulled in here to take a picture and she said, you're looking at something you've, you've never seen in 30 years. That water uh, apparently is usually a lot lower or maybe not even right there, I'm not sure. It's a closed campground, so kind of cool. But uh, so from here, I'm gonna head down to um, Globe and Superior and then make the loop back to Scottsdale. Um, not a whole lot of scenery other than until you get to this lake and a lot of road snakes. But uh, again, better than sitting in uh, snowy Wisconsin. So let's get going. Bye. 